Hello guys, I'm Teacher Fatih and today I'm going to teach you about radioactive decay, the subtopic of alpha, beta and gamma decay. So let's get into our lesson today. So at the end of this lesson, you should be able to answer these questions to achieve the learning outcomes. So you should be able to write each of the following nuclear reactions which are carbon-14, decays by beta emission and also uranium-238 decays by alpha emission. So the question that we had before are associated with this learning outcome. It is to explain with example decay equations alpha decay, beta decay and gamma decay. So we have actually learned radioactivity before when we were in form 3. We have learned uh, the history of radioactivity, which is discover of radioactivity, and also decay process of unstable nucleus by emitting radioactive radiation. We also learned to apply the understanding of the structure of atom and nucleus. And lastly, we learned the uses of radioactive radiation. Now, before we get into our lesson today, we must first recap some of the information that we will need later on. So first of all, we need to know how to read the atomic symbol. So the atomic symbol is an abbreviation used to represent atom in chemical formulas, which is X in this context. Now we also have A, which is the mass number. It represents the number of protons and neutrons in an atom. And we also have Z, which is the atomic number. It represents number of protons in an atom. Our lesson today will be about radioactive decay. Radioactive decay is a process where unstable nucleus emits radioactive radiation to become more stable. The process is random and also spontaneous. Now, you must be wondering what is radioactive radiation? Radioactive radiation is an emission or propagation of energy in the form of waves or particles. There are three types of radioactive radiation, and they are alpha particle, beta particle, and also gamma ray. Okay, let's look at the characteristics of radiations. So for alpha particle, the penetration power can be shielded using a paper, whereas for beta particle, it can be shielded using aluminium. And lastly, for gamma particle, it can penetrate through paper, aluminium, and lead. Now, let's look at the ionizing power for each of these particles. Alpha particle has high ionizing power, whereas beta particle has moderate ionizing power. And lastly, Gamma particle has low ionizing power. Our lesson today will be covering radioactive decay for alpha decay, beta decay, and also gamma decay. First of all, let's look into alpha decay. First of all, we'll look into the equation for alpha decay. So in alpha decay, there will be a, an alpha particle. Alpha particle is a helium nucleus which consists of two protons and two neutrons. Alpha particles are positively charged. During an alpha decay process, an unstable nucleus releases an alpha particle to become a more stable nucleus of a new element. So this can be seen in the diagram shown. There is a parent nucleus which is unstable and a daughter nucleus, which is more stable and release an alpha particle. This is the configuration that we have um, seen before. And it will minus 4 and minus 2 because there will be a helium, which is 4, 2. Let's look at one of the examples of alpha decay. In this example, we are using uranium-235. Uranium-235 decays into thorium-231 and releases an alpha particle, which is helium. 
Now, let's look at another example for alpha decay. In this process, we are using polonium 218, which decays into lead 214 and releases an alpha particle, which is helium. Let's move on to beta decay. So beta particle is a fast-moving electron and it is negatively charged. During beta decay, a neutron in an unstable nucleus decomposes into one proton and one electron, as shown in this diagram. So we can see that there is one neutron decomposes into one proton and, a, and an electron. This electron is referring to the beta particle. So the resulting proton remains in the nucleus while the electron is emitted with high kinetic energy as a beta particle. Here is the equation for beta decay. Now we have a parent nucleus which decays into a daughter nucleus and an electron. So this is the equation for beta decay. We have an element which decays into a daughter nucleus where the proton number is Z plus 1 and it releases an electron which is negatively charged. Here's an example for beta decay. So here we are using sodium 24 which decays into magnesium 24 and releases an electron which is our beta particle. Let's look at another example for beta decay. Here we are using carbon-14, which will decay into nitrogen-14 and releases a beta particle, which is an electron. Now, after going through alpha decay and also beta decay, we are going to look at the last one for today, which is gamma decay. So, gamma rays are high-frequency electromagnetic waves. Gamma rays have no mass, and also they are neutral, which means they are not charged. The equation for gamma decay. So during gamma decay, an unstable nucleus releases its excess energy to become more stable. This can be seen in the diagram shown. So there is a radioactive nucleus in an excited state. It decays into a nucleus with less energy and releases a gamma ray to, be, to become more stable. So the general equation can be seen here where the proton number before and after the process is the same. One of the examples for gamma decay is using cobalt-60. So cobalt-60 in an excited state, which is unstable, will become a more stable nucleus with less energy and releases a gamma ray. Another example is using technetium. So this technetium is in an excited state and is unstable. So it will become nucleus with less energy and releases a gamma ray. Sometimes multiple radiation can occur. During a radioactive decay, some nuclei can emit more than one radiation. For example, during the disintegration of uranium-234, its nucleus emits an alpha particle and a gamma ray. So this is the example of decay equation. And we can write it in simpler form where uh, uranium-234 decays into 230 thorium and we'll write alpha and gamma on the arrow. Now, since we've gone through the decay equations and also the example for it, let's do some exercise to test our understanding. So, here we have a question where it says, Complete the radioactive decay equation. Identify A, B, and C. First, we'll look at question 1A. So, we'll look at question A first. Question A is giving radium 228 as an example. It has a, an unknown A and also an electron. So we see that we have an electron, which means 
in an electron is a beta particle. So if we have a beta particle, the decay equation is beta decay. What is the general equation for a beta decay process? It is this, where we have an element and a daughter, which is a z plus 1, the proton number, and also a beta particle, which is an electron. So, to calculate the proton number for element A, we know that it will be 88 plus 1, and that is 89. What is an element that has 89 proton numbers? It is actinium. You can know this by looking at the periodic table. So, our answer is A is actinium. Now, we have done question A. Isn't it easy? Let's move on to question B. For question B, we have polonium and lead and an unknown particle which is B. So let's, let's write an equation so that we can find the unknown atomic number and also the unknown neutron, a proton number for B. We can write 209 is equals to 205 plus x which is unknown and also for the proton number it is 84 equals to 82 plus y. If we solve this equation we get x is equals to 4 and y is equals to 2. So what is an element that has two proton number and four um, atomic number? If you said helium, then you are correct. So B is helium. I will leave question C for you to practice at home. Let us look back at the slide that we had during the beginning of our lesson. We said that at the end of this lesson, you should be able to answer these questions to achieve the learning outcome. So this question asks, write each of the following nuclear reactions for carbon-14 and also for uranium-238. One decays by beta emission and another one decays by alpha emission. After gone through the equation for alpha, beta and gamma decay and also the examples for it, I'm sure you can answer this question easily. Now congrats! This means that our learning outcome has been achieved. After going through today's lesson, I'm pretty sure you can answer question C easily. Now, the conclusion for our, for our lesson today is that we have learned three decay equations, which are alpha decay, beta decay, and gamma decay. Each of these decay has its own general equation, which is for the first one is alpha decay. It releases an alpha particle, which is a helium. Whereas for beta decay, it releases a beta particle, which is an electron. And lastly, we can see that gamma decay will releases gamma ray. That's all for today's lesson. I hope you have learned something and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Thank you.